Yo, we are in there, dude. We are in there. Just got into the game, so let's go ahead and play, shall we? Looks like the game is uh, finally recovering the servers after a nice lengthy wait. Such is the way of online games, though. Uh, this this ha this happens with almost every major new game. A lot of people forget about it, but it happens with almost all of them. It's just the way it is. <laughs> Sometimes the servers just get ambushed a little too hard and they collapse and they have to be rebuilt all over again. It's just the way it is. How'd I get in? Uh, by logging in. <laughs> by logging in. Patience and just waiting and logging in. Yeah. All right. So what do we want to do? Uh, what's my build looking like? How much damage am I doing? Up to 5k. Um, let me put that in that helmet there. Get a little more health going. Let me think. What do I want to do? Now that I'm online, I think what I'm going to do, I kind of want to try the level 70 capstone dungeon. I'm going to I'm going to go in there real quick and just see if I can handle it. If I end up getting one shot, then I'll just leave. I don't think I'll be able to do it at this point in time, but I want to see how it goes. If I can't do that, then we'll just kind of go around doing dungeons. Go around doing dungeons as well as I'll wait for Helltide events. Level 58, you play a lot? Yes. It's been a while since I've been um, captivated by an online game like this. I need time to do that. 1,500 minutes? Yeah, those are just placeholder numbers, like I was explaining in the chat earlier. It's, uh, it's just a matter of just kind of placeholder values at the moment. And you'll see by the fact that it's, it'll remain at one point. Like, it'll say, like, X amount of minutes for longer than a couple minutes. Like, the value won't actually move. Those are strictly just placeholder values until the floodgates start opening up. Right now, it's just basic. Think of it as, like, a, there was a wreck on a highway, right? And it's down to one lane right now. Soon enough, they're going to clean up the debris, and it's going to open up to, like, a 16-lane highway again. Don't worry. You prefer mouse and keyboard for games like this? Absolutely. Yeah. It's how they were built originally. Yep. All right. I do fully expect to die here, so, you know, just bear with me. Investigate the cursed halls. Oh, yeah, that, that, that alone took half my health. Holy shit. Honestly, that wasn't bad. Honestly, not bad. Come here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Level 70 dungeon, you're extremely brave. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I'm just waiting to see what happens when I encounter an elite. I'm sure the elite, whenever I find it, will one-shot me, but just trying it out, seeing how it goes. Speaking of elites, there we go. Yep, there it goes. Okay. There it goes. All right, yeah, we can't handle that one yet, dudes. Not yet. Just wanted to try it on for size just just to see how it went so let's go uh let's go do some dungeons shall we let's look for specifically necromancer dungeons let's go with that one right there 
build link. I don't have a link for my build. This is just a build that I've been putting together myself. Um, unless there's a way to like link it in game, but I, I've not seen that before. Could have already explained it, but this is my first time trying Diablo. Any quick tips for Necromancer? Try not to rely so much on the summons. I don't think the summons are nearly as good as they should be. They were nerfed really hard. So once you can move away from them, I recommend you do. Don't get me wrong, summons are cool. It's part it's a deep part of necromancy in, in video games in general, I should say. But try not to rely on them so much in this game right now. What is the lock on this? Why is there a lock on that? What is that? I like having minions though. I have 13 total. Hey, there's nothing wrong with liking them. It's just a matter of they're not very effective later on in the game. They die before, they often die before they can really do much. Unfortunately, it's just that they're, they're not very well balanced. So you had a big guy with you yesterday. How do you feel about him? Worth it? That was the day before yesterday. And that was my, my boy, Billy the Blood Golem. He does okay. Um, I put him away because he's just not as effective now. Okay, why am I still frozen here? There you go. Stop it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they require a lot of Paragon points to be useful. Many, many, many. I need more time. Hey, Preston, what's up? In boss fights, they just pop. Yeah. We still love you, Billy. <laughs> Poor Bill. Oh, artillery shrine right before a boss. Okay. I didn't mean to cast bone prison. Uh oh. gonna be i'm still working on this build so I, I don't really know man i'm not really planning any other builds right now this build is not yet completed everyone gather around holy shit that's too good look at that dude just dominated absolutely destroyed those guys what the Am I going to play co-op? Uh, as soon as more people get online, yeah, we'll try to get some co-op going. Anyone that's in World Tier 3 can join up on me. Hey, Queen Gun, you welcome back. Yes, Hamad, the queue times are really heavy right now. The servers are just now coming back up. They're just repopulating at the moment. Servers not only on PS5? No, they're cross-play servers, so it affects all of them. Oh my god, why are you so fast? Relax. Stay there for a minute. Bone Prison's very effective against the faster enemies like that.
I'm doing all right, Alex. How are you, man? What's up, Ray? Still slaying? Absolutely. You skipped Q? No, I just... I was in Q for a while, and it just let me in a little bit ago. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. You show your build when, I, when you get a chance? Sure. All right, if you would like to see my build, here's my gear first and foremost. If at any point that you want to see more details, you can pause the video, okay? I'm just going to highlight everything real quick, so that way you can pause on it if you want to see it. This is my current Paragon board. I think more unlocks at level 60, if I had to guess. And then this is my skill tray right now. Keep in mind that the blue numbers mean that there's gear contributing to those values. That's how that works. And there you go. Hey, it sounds great, Alex. Thanks for being here, man. What's up, hot sauce? Is the queue time real? No, those are placeholder values. Once the uh, once the servers are acting regularly again, trust me, those numbers will go down. I've been playing online games for a very long time. Trust me when I say those are nothing more than placeholder values right now. Hey, Girth Brooks, welcome back. What's up, Nickel? Yeah, hello. No problem, Symphony. Almost walked into that trap, man. Where's the demonic corruption at, dude? Where is it? Another Paragon points. I'm going to have to respec a lot of those once I get the next board. Blue skills can get up to plus 15. Yeah, if you find a lot of gear that contributes to it, yeah. You can get pretty, pretty high up there. Ah, there's one. So, you see all these blue explosions? You know, I used to hate these windy guys. Those windy guys were always annoying because they put up those wind walls, which slow down everything that you throw out. But... Because of this helmet right here, the Bone Spear leaves Boss Blow dealing 949 damage. So every time I see one of those windy guys, I throw a spear through there and it just causes a mass amount of blue explosions because it, it leaves out a trail of them, at, you know, based on time, not distance. So the longer the spear's out there, the more of those it's dropping. So when it actually, when a spear actually reaches the guy, he just basically blows up and disappears instantly. It's hilarious. They used to be such a pain in the ass, now they're easy as hell. That helmet's a game changer for this build. Right, we need one more demonic corruption. Mike Event, hello, how you doing? Guys, thank you for tuning in, and hey, do me a favor. Hit the like button if you haven't yet. So that way, YouTube will recommend my channel to more like-minded folks. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for waiting out the server issues here with me. I'm 
Should I swap my summon necro to something else? I would avoid summon necro at the moment, yeah. yeah. Summon necro is probably the weakest necromancer build you could possibly have right now, unfortunately. I'm all frozen. Why do you have so much health, man? Looks like I got so much health. Travel to Bale's Shrine. Servers are up now. They're getting there, yeah. Just got here, said something about NBC for Summer Fest. What is NBC for Summer Fest mean? I'm not really sure what that means, dude. I mean, we just watched the Summer Game Fest a little while ago. Why won't you die? Stairs making this awkward. There you go. I forgot to show my Book of the Dead for the for my build as well. Here, let me show you my Book of the Dead real quick for the build as well. I forgot about that. This is actually a, a big part of it too. So I sacrificed the skirmishers for increased critical strike chance. I sacrificed the mages, the shadow mages for the max essence increased by 15. And I sacrificed the iron golem for 30% increased critical strike damage. He sacrificed Billy. No, Billy. No, Billy. All right, where are we? Where am I going? I guess we got to go back up that way now that we cleared all this out. Any tips for newbies? Honestly, just uh, embrace how overwhelming the game can feel when it comes to like all the stat values on all the gear. Just keep in mind that you're never going to get the roles that you want. And when you do get the roles you want, you're still going to find something that's going to be better because you're still leveling up. The best thing you can do is just embrace that idea. Okay, job's done. Very few people online still. In a world where you catch Pokemon, create an army and issue them handguns, grenade launchers, and flamethrowers. Welcome to Pal World. Or whatever that game's called. 
Okay, that one's done. Uh, any other necromancer-based ones in the area? Let's see. It's right there. Let's go do that one. How do you install enchantments? When you see a gear that has a, a slot, it'll show a hole directly on it. And then you can put uh, gems inside of it. You see how there's like very visible holes in there? Very visible holes on these. Then you can put gems right inside them to uh, to get that going. Not while I'm in town. You've seen the new lot game, Lies of P? Uh, the demo is out right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a game that I've been waiting for a while for. I'm going to make a video on the demo. I'm going to do that later tonight. Yeah, Blood Necro's not bad. Uh, I'd say, I would say Blood Necro isn't bad. I haven't seen... I, I don't know. I just haven't seen a whole lot of Necromancers out there. But I will say the, the most Necromancers I have seen right now are, are Blood Necros. That'd uh. be Baxi Billy, but you place your Paragon board. You should... If you place a point in the final spot, you can select the next board. Okay, so I was looking at that, but no, I put a point in it, but nothing actually happened. But now, okay, now, now I see it. Board selection. Okay, good. Good call. Thank you. I thought that I just unlocked it at level 60. I thought that's how it worked, but it's already available now. Thank you. Let's take a look. Golem. Assuming five corpses grants 40% increased damage for six seconds. That's kind of nice. No, that that helped me out. I, I I didn't even see that option there. They need to make that pop more. At least two corpses nearby, you gain 50% damage reduction. With no corpses nearby, you deal 15% increased damage. Hitting enemies with bone skills increases your damage by 1% and your max essence by 3 for 8 seconds and stacks up to 8% increased damage and 24 max essence. Yep, that's uh That's what I want. I think. That's what I want, I think. Now, that said, I need to go through this and get rid of some stuff that I want to respect. Oh, I can't refund that one. That's the path. What am I thinking? Let's see take that one back all right let's take a look at this glyph socket there legendary all the way over there let's take a look How'd you get in? Um, by, by getting in. I logged in, man. I don't know. <laughs> Anthony, thank you for the five bones. If I can't chime in today, it'll be fun tomorrow. I'm on the naughty waiting list. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds good. Thank you for the five. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. Curse skills. You and minions deal physical damage. Just kind of looking these over, guys. This one was big because uh, the Blood Orb Fortify has helped me with so much survivability. With every five dexterity purchase within range, you do a 1% increased damage to vulnerable targets. Ooh. Dealing damage to a vulnerable enemy increases your damage by 1% for 6 seconds up to 10%. Yeah, I, I feel like I have to go for this. We need 5 or 20 more dexterity within this. I have no points left over, but we'll be able to get there. Uh, hold on. Is there more dexterity within this? Okay, we need 15 more. 5, 10, 15 right there. Ten percent bone skill damage. Oh, I'm gonna need that too. Damn. 
another 10% bone skill damage if requirements are met. 232 out of 270 dexterity. So I need to spike up my dexterity with my future gear. Because I'm uh, getting an additional 20% extra bone skill damage. Holy shit, man. You just dropped the three minutes from 200? Exactly. The floodgates are opening up. Like I said, those numbers that you're seeing are largely just placeholders. Once, once the servers start opening up, those numbers will drop dramatically. gonna leave that other guy behind I'm not ready yet some crushed beast bones there. What's up, Robert? How you doing, man? Josh, get out. I want to play. <laughs> it's my turn. I seriously just got in. It's almost like Josh knows what he's talking about, huh? You guys really just broke down that bone prison without any effort? Damn. Alright, bro. Yeah, Matt, they're just getting back up and running now. I had a bad angle on those shots there, unfortunately, but still, we made it through just fine. much power yeah i'm really liking how great my build is whoa did i just lag what just happened there yeah, i just lagged to the opposite side of the room that was strange can I join the clan? Yeah, just request, just request to join, and I'll uh, I'll accept it. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, those are just placeholder number bill. Placeholder numbers, Bill. Once the uh, once the lanes start opening up, more people will see those numbers drop to basically zero. I learned all this information, and I'm not I'm not like some like Blizzard like 
PR piece. This is just information that I learned by playing many years of online MMOs. <laughs> once you once you get into uh, like on the deep end of MMOs, you just kind of learn how these how these cues wait or work rather words. It's down to 24 minutes now. Yeah, it, it is gonna drop even more than that for sure. It's unfortunate the servers went down all the same, but I yeah, know it's kind of expected. You playing very soon? Yeah, it's gonna keep skipping forward for you. Good stuff, man. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, I gotta go back down that other path. I have to kill all the enemies. Man, that scorpion poison actually hurt. Matt, they give the two dollars. Juice is the blizzard wizard. <laughs> He's a blizzard shell. Nah, honestly, man. I do like this game, but Blizzard Blizzard made me very upset for literally two decades. Let's go, baby. Level 55. Nice, man. What's up, Simba? Hello there. 1653 to 53 to 14 to 9 to 5. Yep. <laughs> See? I'm not stuck in there with you. You're stuck in there with me. I'm in? Nice, Anthi. I'll run some with you, squash some missions. Sounds good, dude. I'll get you in on the next one. Yo, Adam, what's up, dude? How have you been, man? What's the clan name? Not a cults. Not a cult, as you can see right there. And then this is our emblem, our banner. How do I progress after the campaign? You need to get to um, around level 50, and then you'll see a thing on the map called the Capstone Dungeon to unlock World Tier 3. That's what you need to do. You do that Capstone Dungeon, and then once you get to World Tier 3, you can just kind of go around doing dungeons, world bosses other world events like the helltide stuff to get gear and basically just kind of do whatever it is that you want to do there's a lot of options at that point speaking of helltide is there a helltide happening oh world boss happening in nine minutes you guys want to do that i kind of want to do that let's do that world boss it's going to be a shava the pestilent let's do that in nine minutes okay For now, let's go over here and try to speed run this dungeon. Any plans for a hardcore run? Probably not, Nurse Jess. Probably not. If you had asked Diablo 2 me, I would have said yes. I had, a, I had a level 99 hardcore character for every class. I loved it. But I just don't really have the will to invest that time to a single character in a game like this now. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about... I'm not I'm not going to do this dungeon. We'll do the world boss. I want to make sure that I'm there for the world boss. We'll do that, and then we'll do more dungeons. For now... Let me just go do some random stuff for Grim Favors. And then we'll do that, okay? Sorry for the confusion. How many hours you got in the game so far? Um, Today is the seventh stream of it. Or was yesterday the seventh stream of it? I can't remember. Okay, yesterday was the seventh stream of it. So that would be 35 hours. Plus I've been online for 20 minutes or a half an hour-ish. Somewhere in there. So about 35 and a half hours. 
Going on 36. I cannot do that here. You're back in? Yeah, nice. Anthony, I'll send you an invite if you want to do the world boss, and after that, we'll do some uh, some dungeons. What's up, filling it? How have you been, man? Good to see you. Folks, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, I could really use the, your uh, your support on the likes tonight, considering that you know I had to start streaming really late because the servers were down and all that. It would mean a lot to me if you could press that like button. Let's try to skyrocket to 200 really quick. We're currently at 136. There's plenty of people here. Let's try to hit that 200 mark. It would help me out in a big, big way. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, when you die, you get a 10% durability loss on your items. The, the death penalties in normal are not really bad at all. I'd say 300 sounds better. I mean, hey, I didn't want to push my luck, but if you guys want to go for 300, I'm down for that too. I did have to start the stream very late. So your support would go a really, really long way. What's up, Phantom? How you doing? Speak to me. But if you do die in hardcore mode, that means you lose the character Please and all the items on it. Dead. Permanently dead. Stay within the blue circle here. Bone dust. It's crazy to see all the old names pop up in chat. Phantom, Simba, we still have Mel and Mord, Screamer. It feels like, guys, if you, sometimes, in the la I will say the last like week of streams, I look up at chat and sometimes I swear it feels like it's like it's 2017. <laughs> I love it. Oh, sacred gloves, you say? Sounds good, Dark Lotus. Have a good time playing the game, dude. Thank you, man. Speaking of 2017, damn that booty thick. What's up, dude? My God. What's up? All right, we need to turn these in. Where do I turn them in? There. Hey, Brandy, welcome back. Have I heard about the Facebook? Never heard of Facebook before, no. What's up, Kuda? How you doing? Just take the dust and let me go, bro. So close. Is the quest done or what? That's it. That will come seal. Thank you. What's the timer on this? Three minutes, 23 seconds. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's <laughs> giant tank, dude. What a name. What a name, dude. Thank you for five bones, dude. Says thank you for doing what you do, tis all. Hey, thank you for being here for it, dude. It means a hell of a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Don't worry, friend. I got your back. I need more time. I just saved that guy's life. He doesn't know it, but I did it. Ow. Let me just turn these in, then we're gonna go do the world boss. There you go. That job's done. 
Now leave me alone. All right, world boss. Whisper unavailable. Why? Oh, I maxed it out. Okay, let me go here first. Turn in the grim favors, and then we'll go back over there. Adams in chat as well. Yeah, yeah, dude. What's up, white one? How you doing? Quickly now, quickly now. It is done. Greater collection of helmets. Guess we'll take that. Level 59. Big. Okay. You show your weapon? Yeah, remind me, Chris, after I do this. I'm kind of crunching on time right now. Not while I'm in town. Remind me after I do the world boss, okay? Also, uh, Xanthype, say something in the clan chat or whisper or something so I can right-click your name and send you an invite if you want to do this. If you'd rather wait for the dungeon, that's cool, too. Look at this. Oh, my God. It's a Sarlacc pit. All right. Hold on. I can show you my weapon now, Chris. Here it is. There you go. I don't know if you're gonna be able to make it in here, make it here in time for the boss, but hopefully you can. The big 59, yeah. go this way with this. Not that far yet in the game, I think. Oh, oh okay. I see you kind of wish. I see you. All right, here comes the boss. A Shava. I'll be in the back throwing spears. It's fine. Holy. I'm out of essence. Oh, thank God I absorbed that. guy's massive. What's up, Swap? How have you been, man? so hard to see my character. I got poison there. It's fine now. Right underneath that. Nice. Look at those numbers, dude. Hell yeah. Yep, I'm glad that I moved back like that. Oh my god, sir. Okay, let me get underneath you there. There we go. Good stuff. The 
The music is so good. Detonate all these corpses here. Holy shit! Let me grab some of these, thank you. Holy hell, that hurts so much. Oh, I tried to dodge through it. That did not work so well. Man, the shop is so cool, dude. Oh, he's getting very jumpy as he's getting closer to death. Okay. Can you stop running away from me? Oh, my damages. There he goes. Ashav is down. GG. Oh, baby. Got a grand cash. Sacred ring. Nothing else of value. All right. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. When you have seven or more minions, gain 70% increased damage reduction. Eh. This one, Blood Lance. Nope. No thanks. And then let's open up the grad cash. What do we got? Sacred amulet, whispering pines, baleful fragments. Every 10 seconds, your cold skeletal mages cast a blizzard. I don't have skeletal ma mages, dude. I also have this other grand cache. Let's open up that one, too. Oh, my. What the? Hold on, man. I got a lot of items to deal with here. <laughs> Holy shit. That dropped everything. The loot. All right. Let's see. What did I just get? Was it this one? Each time that bone storm damages an enemy, you gain a barrier equal to two percent of your base life for ten seconds. Okay. All right, we can uh, we can pretty much break all this down. Yeah. All right, so I got to run to town, break all this down, and then we'll do some dungeons. Let's uh, let's go to Ked Bardu. God damn, dude. Ren, hope you're doing great, man. What's up, Black Crystal? Welcome back as well. Just a few likes away from 200, guys. Listen, do you want to play a game? You want to play how fast can we get the stream to 250 likes? You want to play that game? If you haven't pressed the like button yet, you should. There's a ton of people here already. It would mean a lot to have your support on it, guys. It truly would. Ah, that got most of it. There's a new style of helmet, too. Yeah, we don't need any of these. Mm, good salvage. Forge awaits your return. Do 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 do. All right, hold on. Um, what was I just gonna do? There's something else I wanted to do before we go. I can't remember what that is. Oh, right. Let me go check out what this other helmet looks like. I 
sympathetic user review bombs on this on Metacritic? No, but I'm sure they're very well thought out and well versed as they often are on Metacritic. Uh, man, if it had like the gold trim on it, that'd be cool to rock. Yeah, that one just goes well with the uh, everything else with the gold trim so much. Hey, Sam AK, what's up? Been a game pending for the whole world boss fight. I mean, the servers are still working on their way coming back up, man. It's getting there. Okay, let's go do some uh, let's go do some dungeons now. Where was that necromancer one I wanted to do? Doo -doo. There it is, torturous aspects. I'm doing all right, Ivan. How are you, man? All right, so we are doing co-op, which means that this dungeon should be a little more difficult. Make it yellow. I love the red and gold too much, man. <laughs> I really do. What was your build in a video? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Let's wait here for Anthony. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, gamers absolutely hate video games these days. Eh, but it's it's not. It, it, it's even beyond that. People will give unfair reviews because there's one aspect they don't like, especially when it comes to things that don't actually affect anything else if they're optional. Josh here might be ready to take on tier four. I tried to fight some level 70 things at the uh, the next capstone dungeon. I could handle a lot of it, but then I got one shot by the elite. So I got some work to do still. Most of that work will be through the form of uh, Paragon points though. Anthony, where are you? Oh, I see your yellow dot now. Because I think that's you. One tiny thing in these assets rated zero. Yep. You get that on Steam, Metacritic, everywhere, dude. Don't get me wrong. It's it's fine to dislike things you don't that you dislike, but you got to be more level-headed on your thoughts. Zovad the Virulence. I need more time. Zovad the Dead. I didn't realize you were fighting the lead as well, my bad.
chaos. Put that spider in a cage just to make it an arachnid kebab. True. What games are you playing after this? Final Fantasy 16 is next on the uh, the stream docket. I'm gonna try that out. See how it goes. That comes out on the 20 seconds. Also, I'm gonna try to make a video tonight on the Lies of P demo that just dropped today. We retire Billy. Yeah, a couple nights ago. Or well. Just before stream yesterday, I should say. A lot of people are unhappy about literally everything. Yeah. A lot of people living in their own angry little worlds. Ha! Saw that a lot lately. Carry on. You play with Legos at work tomorrow, so plus one for Mel. Hell yeah, dude. That's sick. Hell yeah. Despite all their rage, they are still just serpents in a bone cage. Love that for us. All right, gonna go zapping. I'm zapping. Still zapping. Hold on, I'm zapping. Hold on, I'm zapping. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the conduit shrine is so busted, dude. Thank you for being here. Have a good night. What's up, Jaden? How do you like this game? I'm loving it, dude. How do you introduce... How did you introduce to the stream world? I started watching live streams back on Justin TV. Justin TV is now, uh, they evolved into what's now Twitch. I started watching live streams way back then, and I knew that one day that I would want to try doing that too. And so I did. Got me. 
Ow. That poison hurt. That poison hurt a little bit. Okay, let's go see if there's an event down the other path real quick. I know we did technically get a completion there, but let's go see. My god, that was a big boss. Oh, but wait, there's more. A sacred dagger. Blood Mist leaves a trail that lasts for four seconds and deals 311 shadow damage per second to enemies who stand on it. Your movement speed will no longer be reduced while Blood Mist is active. That's actually kind of hot. And the fact that it deals increased damage to slowed enemies, critical strike damage, overpower damage, and critical strike damage with bone skills specifically, that's actually a pretty nice dagger. Damn. Shit, dude. I think it's the nicest dagger I've seen yet. Crystal great sword of retribution. Oh, it's not sacred. Never mind. Never mind. But okay, um, let's go do another dungeon, shall we? Let's check the clan. Get you guys in there. I missed a golden chest, did I? Oh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not gonna go searching for it. It's fine. It's fine. Do, 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 do. Needs more necromancy. Just looking for more necromancer based uh, dungeons to do. Aspect of the expectance. Let's do that one. What's up, Wolfie? How was that expectative that you had about? Uh, Ivan, if you're asking like what my expectations were when I started streaming, I knew going into it that it was going to be... I knew I was going to enjoy it, but I knew not to expect much out of it. What's up, Hope for Life? Good to see you. Hey, good to see you as well. Didn't know you like ARPG? Yeah, I love ARPGs. It's just uh, a lot of ARPGs that have come out in the recent couple of decades haven't really vibed too well with me. Outside of certain things here and there. Is it worth doing the class-only dungeons that aren't your class? If you plan on doing, though, like making those classes at some point, sure. But I would definitely prioritize the ones that are specifically for your class. So that way, if you end up like wanting to make a new build around certain ideas, then you'll be able to right away. Waiting for Anthony to get here. Which I think he's on his way. This would be one of the... This will be on the same level as Elden Ring when it comes to content variations in the future. Uh, this game is going to be doing something that Elden Ring does not, which is which is uh, seasons. Seasons will basically change the way the game is played, introduce new metas because of new weaponry, new skills, uh, stuff like that. All right, there he is. Slay all enemies in the Labyrinth of Rots. Up. Ceiling collapse. Already 
<laughs> Being able to lock all these guys up in a in a bone prison is so sick. <laughs> they get in there and they just can't move. There's a bit of a quest here. I was not aware. I played a Blizzard game, but this has me tempted. Diablo is pretty much the only thing that Blizzard does that interests me at all these days. I'm just happy that I do enjoy this one now. What's up, Blonde Unicron? How you doing? Fabrini, thank you for joining us from Brazil. Hello there. I took to do it within minutes. Yeah, that's all it took for me to. Why is the floor gotta be so stabby? Wow, was cool. I mean, if you if you're into uh, World of Warcraft, that that's cool. I, I for me, it just didn't do much personally. But I know a lot of people that were really into it. When I say basically my entire friend group, I mean basically my entire friend group. It's weird seeing an un like a normal sacred ring. Ah, the fear. Ah, caged him anyway. playing wow when it came out I was playing guild wars same here haggis i'll give you one guess as to what i played there too <laughs> well i i played uh, i played a lot of different classes but it was mostly necromancer i also enjoyed uh dervish one of the classes that they introduced during one of their expansions that was a fun class dude It was basically that game's version of a paladin. It was really cool. It was like a paladin, but instead of using a shield and sword, they used sides. It was so cool, dude. I'm out of essence. I'm not ready yet. Main Necro in Guild Wars unlocked all skills on him too. Hell yeah, dude. Very fun class in that game. Skills deal up to 18%. Increase damage based on your available primary resource when cast. Receiving the max benefit when you have full primary resource. That is nice, but I don't want to lose the vulnerability thing. Kind of a bad roll for that aspect, too. A crucial object is missing. Oh, did we forget to grab said crucial objects? We sure did. I looked right over that. You played the Bane of PvP, a mesmer. <laughs> hey, Len, what's up, dude?
I got the rocks. And now, I have increased movement speed for some reason. I'm glad that it gives it to you, too. I kind of liked how they had the split class system in Guild Wars as well. I kind of liked how they did that. I did not mean to open up the chat there. Artillery. And protection. I'm out of this. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Doing well, Paul. How are you, man? Oh, I'm going to die. I need more time. I live, bitch. Oh, there I go. <laughs> <laughs> I got blown up. You should be able to click on me and revive me. Oh, okay. You're ready now. You're good. You got it. We got detonated by that guy. That build's pretty insane. Yeah, but, uh, you know, you got to play it careful against some of those elites. Would you suggest going to play Diablo games starting off at the beginning? You need no, or do you need no lore damage, no, lore knowledge to enjoy? Uh, I wouldn't say you really need a whole lot of lore knowledge to enjoy, but I would say watch a video like Dan said. Just watch a video on the first three games, like the story, and you'll be more than good to go. You're using level 20 gear. Hmm. That's probably not a good streamer. I didn't learn my mis from my mistake last time, so let me just get close range with this guy, too. things. Kind of made the game lag. The frames just plummeted because of all the action there. That was nice. All right, that one's done too. Doo 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 doo. Decent scythe. What's up, Rodrigo? Hello there. What's up, DJ? Let's see the skill tree. You, all right, I'll show the skill tree for you guys again. I'll show you the skill tree. Here we are. If at any point that you want to see more info on this, just pause it. So that way you can look at it. 
for you know for the values and keep in mind that if you see a blue number it means that uh, it's attributed by gear not by actual attribute points There you go. All right, let's head back to a town, sell all this gear, break it all down, and find another dungeon to do. Or maybe we can find like a Helltide event or something. I'd like to do those too. The Helltide event yesterday is where I got my helmet, so. Definitely want to do more of those. I don't think any of this gear is worth keeping. Yeah. All right, Helltide event going on right here. I'm going to go do that. Anthony, you're more than welcome to join me if you would like. No problem, DJ. What'd you end up doing as far as sacrificing your minions? All oh, right, let me show you that too. I think it's shift and C that'll bring it up. Let me just go over here first. All right, so skeletal warriors, skirmishers, sacrifice for critical strike chance. Skeletal mages, shadow, sacrifice for max essence. And then golems, iron, sacrifice for 30% increased critical strike damage. Sorry about that. I had to uh, look at something real quick. Oh, dude, I keep walking into these things. I'm trying to look at, ma at this uh, map right now. Hold on. All right. So usually the mystery things are... Could be one all the way down there and there could be one right about there so let's go check that spot first anthony i don't know if you've done these before man but i'm just gonna be running around like crazy i recommend you do the same and just try to do as many events as possible get as many hell tide things as possible the uh, aberrant cinders and then just spend them at chests for gear that you want you can find chests spread out all over the place this event's going on for the next hour, so we should be able to do some pretty big things here for a while. feared I'm not going to pick up any gear that is not legendary or above I'm doing well Anderson how are you man Fiend roses are nice to get too.
just blowing some corpses up real quick. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. Oh, hold on. Boss just spawns. Hello. Oh, this is the big boss. Shit, man. Uh-oh. Get ready for a long fight here, guys. Oh, you bastard. This boss is very tanky. all the friends at everyone get in here and fight this thing <laughs> how are you playing this login times like 1800 minutes the servers just came back up a little while ago but This guy really wants me. Look at this. He really wants it. Uh oh. Looks like the gang's all here. Sorry, I just need these guys off my back. How are there not more people trying to fight this thing? Yes, walk inside this pool of darkness. Okay. This guy has more health than uh, Ashava did. What the hell? What's going on here? Holy shit. I guess we'll see if this is even worth fighting. Everyone gather around. about to get a hell tide boss too there it is There you go. Very nice. Now, where'd the other guy go? There you are. You're on top of me. 
This guy has so much health. Yeah, level 72 boss against level 59, 54. Yep. The biggest thing is that it just moves around so much. way through. Please stop fighting me. Day. All right, we're finally getting more people to show up for this. Get your ass back here, man. Oh, he just did the big suck. Oh, no. Where'd you go? It's actually really hard to see you in there. I'm not ready. Yet. Level 72, no wonder he's so tanky. Yep. I fought it once before. I think it was on stream yesterday, right? Crazy. More health than the world boss. There's the the big suck again. I'm not ready yet. Bruh. Bruh. Guys, why does the big suck keep happening? I need more time. Love hitting you with the prison just as it tries to run away. Feels good, man. These bosses are definitely not meant to be solo. Josh, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> True. There it goes. Okay, that was not worth the time considering we only got like eight cinders. But fun all the same. Fun all the same. Now let's get out there and do some events and stuff. The events are where the big cinders are. Oh my God, that was like a... 10 minute fight or some shit? My god. Watch out! Strike them down.
Do, 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 do. All right, come on. Where's all the enemies at? There's a dreadful cleric. All right, we got another boss thing happening nearby. Hey, here's all the enemies. Coming. Holy shit, dude. My God. <laughs> okay, sacred wands and a focus. There we go. Um, let's go check that spot now. Ooh. The action in this hell tide right now is sick, dude. I'm loving it feeling like old Diablo, like old Diablo 2, you know? I actually rather enjoy the hell tides just for how much chaos there is. All right, another event right here. Let's hit it. You guys remember when Gandalf fought the ball, fought a Balrog and it was like a whole big deal? You know, we've already killed like four Balrogs since being in here this Helltide today. You know? What's so special about Gandalf's Balrog, huh? Crux, Helltide Commander, level 63. Here we go again. I need more time, guys. That's what the guy keeps saying. Now, where did he just go? This man's not allowed to teleport. Don't worry, I found him. I can't see. <laughs> hey, Dano, what's up? Have you not died with all this? I have no idea. I guess my build's working out, huh?
Uh oh. Yeah, I walked right into that. Oof. Love to see those damages. Hopefully this guy dropped something more than the last guy did. You guys see that? That genius bone prison at that moment? Oh my god. We didn't kill him in time, did we? I didn't see the timer, but I don't think we killed him in time. Sorry, we got 160. We need 175 for one of these chests. I think the other one can happen like right down there. I'm gonna head that way. Gandalf wanted all the XP to himself, so he told the others to run. True. Big trail. Uh, I think it's like all the way down there at the coast. There's very specific chest guys called mystery chests that can drop a whole plethora of loot. But definitely the chest you want to make the most use of when you do these events. tanking Oof. Right, hold on Let's grab all the stuff in the air that I missed which isn't a lot I guess This, uh, this hell tide has been non-stop, hasn't it, guys? All right, now let's go. Liza P released a demo? I did, Amber, yeah. I'll be making a video on it. The daughter of hatred demands blood. Me too. What a coincidence. Come here. 
Come here. Ah, uh, there you go. I need more time. Sacred dagger. We take those. Let me ride around and grab all the stuff. We're killing it? Yeah, dude. This is the most, uh, this is the craziest hell tide I've done yet. It's nonstop, dude. We're actually killing it. Shit, dude. I'm just trying to get down to spend these damn soul things. Ooh. Oh my god, there's more. Okay, we have a moment of quiet. Thank you for 250 likes on the video, guys. I appreciate it a lot. We got some stuff happening here, too. Oh, did. All right, here's our gift of mysteries. This is the one I want. Loot. Can I get some loot goblins in the chat? We are loot goblining. Sacred amulet, sacred boots. So much stuff. Oh no, not Kicksarth again. I'm not fighting this guy again. It's not worth our time. We, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to leave. You should leave too. Do not, do not stand for his bullshit, Anthony. Just go. <laughs> Get the hell out. I'm not getting stuck in another 10 minute fight for only eight uh, things. this other chest i want to say it's like right there let's head back up that way killing everything in our path to get as many souls as possible or cinders rather i keep calling them souls holy shit man Good lord. Ah, <laughs> oh, we got the uh the Skelly Boy gang here. I'm not ready yet. Oh, not what I wanted. Looks like um, there's another boss over here. I'm not ready yet. Jesus.
fact that I'm able to keep alive during all this is really great. Loving that. Uh, that boss was here and now it's gone. I'm not sure what happened there. He just disappeared. Guess it doesn't matter. I'm not ready yet. I need more. Ow. Time. How much time is left on this event? Twenty six minutes. Okay, let's go this way. They keep on coming? I know, it's crazy. Any recommendations for a level 22 druid? Uh, I've not really played druid at that level. I've only, my, my druid's only level 13. I've only played it for like an hour. So I can't really say. I don't really know druids very well at all. Sorry, man. Um, where's this last villager? There he is. Holy shit! Someone, uh, Screamer, someone asked, uh, recommendations for a level 22 druid. What are those many brown pools doing? Uh, those are doing a wide AoE damage over time. Gift of Mysteries right here. Sick. Oh. I clicked off the screen for a moment there. Alright, get your loot bags ready. Oh, yeah. As you can see here, corpse explosion releases a vile miasma from a corpse dealing 5,393 damage over six seconds. And I also have things that scale that up. Obviously, you can see the damage is a little bit higher right there. It just kind of goes up based on different abilities that I cast, including corpse explosion itself. The more I spam it, the more damage that it does. And also a great side effect as well is that it gives me essence back. Festival, baby. Okay. 
Right, is this one still of weaponry? Yeah, I don't want that one. Just a moment here. Okay, yeah. I don't think there's going to be any more uh, Gift of Mysteries in this area. what I want to do is just try to focus on some for boots because I want to try to get those uh, sacred unique boots. But in order to do that, we got to find them around. Anthony, I'm going to ride around and look for chests that offer boots. That's my game plan right now. And then we'll fight around that area. Or find a massive wave of enemies and fight them here. Why not? <laughs> Hey, sounds good, Todd. Playing with keyboard or controller? I'm using keyboard and mouse. We'll stop and fight whenever I see a large gathering of enemies just so we can get the easy cinders. That's going to lead us out of the area. We do not want to go that way. Better than a loot festival, that's for sure. Yeah, I couldn't imagine going to a festival where there's only loots. It sounds like a headache after about an hour. Let's head up this way. Uh, give me just a moment. There might be some more of these mystery things up this way. Actually, there might be one right over there. Let's go take a look. This map says this map is telling me there should be more in the area. So let's go take a peek, shall we? Chaos take the world.
We love a good pull like that. We do. Oh my god, there's more. I'm not ready yet. Oh, an event nearby. That's good. Let's do it. guy taking no damage from me right now sir how if I may inquire I'm not ready yet I'm just not getting crits a lot of the time right now survivability on this dude what is this <laughs> my guy would not die We'll see if that chest is over there. Welcome back, Bloodlust. Grabbing cinders. There we go. All right, all this way in this chest is in here. Big sad. Okay, there could be another one all the way up there. So I guess we head that way now. If we don't find it there, then we just roll around and uh, hope to find some other chests that support what I want here, like boots. Oh, I almost died. My horse did. My horse died to death there. this then I'm not ready yet. Hey, 
How'd you come back? Oh my god, there's just so many things all over the place. Been damn good experience, I'll tell you that. much shit everywhere dude oh I don't want to go that way sorry that goes back to where we came from I need more time. back away from that guy he's got an upset stomach This is the first mount free slash main story, or if you or to have a mount, you have to buy a deluxe edition. You get a mount, um, no matter what during the story. I cannot do that here. It's not anything else. It, it's just the story. Okay, we have a lot of these cinders. I'm just gonna go straight for the spot. I'm gonna ride past everything here, just because time is getting low, and I want to make sure that I can spend this on the stuff that I'm looking for here. I think we've done our due diligence killing everything on the field today. I need time to do that. Yes. Yes. Just what I want right here. Very nice. The loot. We have 84. I guess I could ride around and try to find ones. Let's go right there. See if that offers boots. Hold on. Statue of Lilith right here. Yeah, this way. Uh, the mount I have is it's just a special like pre-order edition skin. It's really nothing to go crazy about though. Because they all have the same effect. At least for me, I guess I just don't really care about cosmetics that much. Do you have boots? Hand guards. We want boots. Let's go down there. I'm looking for boots. Should I be selling my looter salvaging? Okay, this one's up boots. I would say start off with selling until you have like... 400 or 500,000 and then from there salvage everything. Okay, let's try to get enough for one more chest. I only need 51. We have 7 minutes.
ready yet. Fifty, or I'm sorry, yeah, twenty-three more. Yeah, once you have a few, like a few hundred thousand saved up, that'll be enough to hold you over when you do find a weapon that you do want to upgrade or whatever. And then you know later on, you end up finding so much money that you don't need to actually sell anything again from that point. Like right now, I'm sitting at a casual two point five million, and I've not sold anything in a long while now, just salvaging it all. You basically just need enough money to get by for now. I'm sure you're going to need a whole bunch of money late game for when you're trying to really like min max on stats and stuff, but that's stuff that comes so much later. And at that point, getting money will be a breeze anyway. Okay, we need seven more, and then we'll be good to go. I'm not ready yet. Five more. Okay, I have enough. Let me just go look around that one so far. Uh, I think that's the... Was that the gauntlets one? Let me head up there. Yeah, no problem, Dan. This is a fake stream. What, do you, what, what is a fake stream, William? I don't know what the uh, fake stream is. Enlighten me. Hand guards. Let's roll the dice on it. Okay, I would say we got an excellent pull from this. Now to sort through all this gear. Okay, that's all we need. Let me get out of here. I'm gonna go to Ked Bardo. At least I thought I was, hold on. Stream that is pre-recorded. Yeah, I did pre-record this. I just predicted that you'd be here. Predicted. All right, let's hold on. Let me take a moment to look at all this gear. I got a lot. Uh, boots. I didn't get any sacred uniques, unfortunately. But they are pretty hard to get. Do, do, what is this? Focus. Uh huh. That was fun, crazy grind. Got to be. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, dude, that was sick. That that was one hell of a hell tie, dude. That was crazy. Unfortunately, I don't think I really got anything of value out of it, though. At least for me. There's only have seven and a half percent increased damage for each second you stand still. That's a weird ability. That's a weird aspect. Please stand still in a game that we want you to move around in a lot. Bone Spirit deals increased damage based on distance traveled. Decent roll on it. I think this one right here is the only one of value that I got out of it. Now, the good news is it has two ranks of Bone Spear on there, which is good. 
There were two ranks of Blight is kind of meaningless, so I, I might re-roll that on this. Plus 90 armor. But the whole aspect of consuming corpses to add damage to my next core skill, that can definitely help. That can definitely help. I will lose 18 dexterity, though. And 18% damage to didn't injured enemies, which is kind of something I would like to keep, but... I think that's pretty much the only thing of value I got out of this. Mm, I really like the stats on that one, too. Plus two ranks of Bone Spear and 30% critical strike damage with Bone Skills. Damn. What's up, Lady K? How's it going? Yeah, the game is crazy. I love it. Best Diablo since 2. Yeah, I didn't really get anything of value otherwise, though. That's kind of a... Kind of a shame considering how many sacred legendaries we got, but... Still, not bad. Already pre-ordered Final Fantasy 16. Nothing on my pockets right now. Maybe I'll buy this game in the future. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Final Fantasy 16 as well. I'm. At, it's kind of crazy that I'm saying that because I've not enjoyed Final Fantasy in a long time. The last one I enjoyed was 12. But I am looking forward to 16. I am. Okay, so I'm thinking about this one. It, it does have eight less armor, but much better stats overall. Then again, we'll lose that 29 willpower. I'm going to try to re-roll some stuff on that and see if it can do anything good for me. Can you please tell me what this game is about? Diablo is an ARPG. Basically, you the whole idea is to make a build on a class that you enjoy or might enjoy using, you know, picking different abilities that can kind of work together to make like a, a flow of combat for yourself. And all the while, you're supposed to find loot that has stats on it to support this this build that you have going on. And all the while, the game gets increasingly more difficult as you level up. Oh. All right, we can replace this. I might try that again. 28 dexterity or 7% crit chance. Ooh. So here's the predicament. I need a certain minimum of dexterity to get 10% extra damage on my bone skills or that 7% critical strike chance. I think I have to go the dexterity here. At least for now. Because what my critical strike chance is 18.7 flat by itself, but I do get um, increased chance whenever I use corpse tendrils because of. Oh no, I actually don't have that on right now. Right, I don't have that right right now, so I'm not getting that 20% from that. But also the bone storm gives me a flat 20% extra crit chance as well. I think I just have to go dexterity on this. And then I can replace the aspect on this with the one from this one. All right, hold on. Do, do, do. Hold on. Let me verify this. I'm making sure I'm doing this right. I don't want to break down the wrong thing. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Very good. I guess I could change up the boots if I could find something to replace that. Uh, if I can get something plus two ranks of corpse tendrils and dexterity, because I don't have that, uh, like that aspect, I have a better roll of on the armor. So that's kind of a wasted slot right now. 
but I don't need skeletal warriors. I guess I could just replace the aspect on that with something else, too. I guess, yeah, let me just replace the aspect on that with something else right now instead of nitpicking. I'm not using Iron Maiden. Let me just extract this aspect here and then throw it on here. Much better. How many times can you reroll a modifier? I don't know if there's a limit, but the cost does go up every time you do it. Pretty exponentially at that. All right, forgive me for I'm about to break down a lot of legendaries, and I know this is going to make some people cringe. It's just part of the game at this point. Getting lots of materials back, though. I don't need that. What do you do with crude gems? You can combine different levels of gems into higher levels. It's just a matter of getting to a point where you can do that. Uh, how many let's go let's go gamble you guys want to gamble i have uh 320 obols which means that i can buy a whole bunch of boots in hopes that i get the sacred unique that i'm looking for give me the boots the an excellent fine quality the winds truly all right we only got one sacred unique out of that do, 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 do. Plus 10% movement speed on those? Damn, I wish I waited to do things. Because then I could have put the critical strike aspect on there. Blood mist triggers corpse explosion on surrounding corpses. When blood mist detonates a corpse, its cooldown is reduced by half second. Isn't that where you can get whispering keys too? Yeah. Yes, sir. I just go directly for the boots. Yeah, that 10% is pretty noticeable. Shoot, dude. Oh, well. What are you planning to do in this game? Uh, I just went through a whole bunch of chaos. I think you just missed it. I was doing what's called a Helltide event. Which basically meant I was going through an hour of non-stop combat. But now I'm going to go do a dungeon. Any other world events going on? No? Okay. Let me go find a dungeon that we can get five grim favors out of right there, I guess. Ooh, Fig Newtons are the bomb, dude. I love Fig Newtons. Tasty. How do you expand your Paragon skill board? Uh, you go, you just click on the, um, the connector piece. You just left click on it. And it'll bring up like options for you. Speaking of, I got three points to spend. So yeah, I need 27 more dexterity to get that additional 10% bone scale damage. I need that. We gotta we gotta find an area that we can make up that I dexterity. That I guess I could try to re-roll some stuff. Like and re-roll that, like fire resistance or something I cannot do that here hey Cole what's up I 
Dude, I love... I Guys, I really enjoy those Helltide events. They're just so chaotic. For an hour straight of just chaos, dude. Also, we're only 20 likes away from 300. If you haven't pressed that like button yet, if you're enjoying the stream, make sure you do. I need time to Helps out in a big way. Josh knows. Yeah, dude. Fig Newtons are awesome. What I meant about what are you planning to do in this game was what what are you what are you grinding what are you trying to do right now I'm specifically on the hunt for a pair of sacred unique boots that will leave a trail of frost behind me it's something that I theorize will be very very good for my build overall it's just that they're you know they're very rare or at least right now. Sir. I want to see how much damage I can really get this to do. Let me do this right. Oh, splat. I just saw so many numbers fly up there. I couldn't do the, I couldn't actually acknowledge what any of them were. I just know that it did. I, if I, I it was several five digit numbers. So if my thought is right, it probably did right around 50 to 60 K in a single burst. Because of the returns, uh, the return fragments as well. Uh, I chose Necromancer, white one. life I just threw that in the wrong direction elixir of beast slaying Fragments on return are doing almost 20,000 is nuts.
Ah, uh, yeah. A lot of things in this dungeon that are stunning me. A lot of stuns going out. Where'd you go? There you are. I need more time. Holy hell. Only 10 likes to 300? True. God damn. Bro, what is stunning me? All right, spider, come on, just die. I'm doing all right, Sam. How are you, man? Oh my god, dude. The fact that I'm clearing these rooms without even being threatened. I feel like I should be able to take on that capstone dungeon fairly soon. What time is it for you right now? 8.45 p.m. We just go straight on in. You did it. You beat the game. Good stuff. Good stuff. And get a single legendary. Not a single legendary here, dude. Sad. Sad. But okay, we can go um, to the Tree of Whispers. Let's do it. What's changed after Crash? Any patches? I don't think so, Borak. I don't think so. They spent the afternoon just trying to get the servers back up. It is done. Helms amulets are gauntlets. Let's go amulets. Damn. 
All right. All right. Let's try. What I want to do is get to level 60 and then try to find a way to make up this dexterity for that extra 10% bone damage. And then I might try the capstone dungeon again. All right, let's go do that one, I think. Here, hold on. That one's closer. Hey, other people in chat are just having conversation, William. guys I want fig newtons and a bratwurst with onions and spicy mustard I need more time mm. and that's all based on conversations we've had in chat today combination are you pregnant absolutely i'm pregnant with your baby don't ask how it happened just embrace it God dang it, bra sounds so good right now. I know, dude. It's just I think it's just that uh that time of year, right? Summer's rolling around. Wanna break out the grill. Get some burgers and brats going. Hell yeah. William, I did say a minute ago, it is currently 8.51 p.m. Give me my bone essence. Okay. Um, where does this teleporter take me? Let's see. Let's figure it out. Okay. Just brings us back here. That's actually kind of nice. Thank you, game. What move is that? Throwing the spam on the floor. That is corpse explosion. Whenever there's a corpse on the floor from a dead enemy, you can explode it, which causes a... Uh, you can, you can, there's two different ways you can build it, but I chose to go for the Miasma because it causes a, an AoE damage over time thing, which goes really well with Corpse Tendrils because it brings everyone into it. And as long as you can keep them in there, then it just does a good amount of damage over six seconds. 
And all the while they're in there, you're just throwing, throwing bone spears at them. Alright, sacred chest armor. We'll take it. How do you have so much health? What is this guy on about? Right, let's take a look at this. Lame ability, but plus 10% bone skill damage, bro. That's kind of great. That is kind of awesome. All right, I'm going to hold on to that. We're going to try to find a way to get that. I'm going to do some re-rolling on that. Try to re-roll -re like the... Maybe the cold damage into... into dexterity. Yeah, as well, my plan is to take the aspect off. As long as it don't... Yeah, I can just take that aspect off and throw it on there. I just want to try to re-roll it. One of the things that... That's an opportunity to get more dexterity on there as well. Big. to get 15 more dexterity within this circle too let's work on that or within this uh glyph rather Someone that's never played Diablo before, how easy is this to pick up? Seems so much to learn. There's a lot of overwhelming elements, but that's just on the forefront. When you do, when you do get into the game and you just progress naturally, the game teaches you things as you go. It doesn't just throw everything out at you all at once. So what I would do, if you're interested in playing this, just take you just just kind of take in mind that, or keep in mind rather. That as you play the game, the game is going to teach you important things as you go on. Just look for things that happen as you level up. Look at, uh, you know, every time you get a piece of gear, look at the stats and how it might affect you. Just look over the systems. You can look like when you when you tap I 
or if you're playing on controller whatever your inventory button is you can look at your stats right here and see what what these values contribute to your stats to your build for here strength gives me extra armor intelligence gives me skill damage and resistance to all elements willpower gives me increased resource regen healing and overpower damage you see what i mean Every, the game tells you everything just by hovering over it just by looking at it it tells you you know the sources of things and all that when you go into materials and stats as well you can really look at all this it'll tell you all this stuff here it just kind of breaks it all down for you so while it does seem overwhelming at first when you do look at everything individually it's really not so bad the biggest thing is just not feeling overwhelmed by that which can be hard admittedly like I, I i was pretty overwhelmed at first too but now i'm very comfortable in understanding and how all of this works I'm playing this game I've never had any patience it's kind of sad to be honest because I'm missing out on really good games yeah it's don't get me wrong like it's easy to be overwhelmed but if you are interested in the game then you'll develop that patience naturally once you get into it like you just gotta like not get overwhelmed by the idea of there being a bunch of words and numbers on your screen once you realize they're just words and numbers that you already know how to make sense out of as a human being things that you've dealt with individually in your past whether it's in a video game or not the same applies here it's just i think a lot of it is just because how much flashiness there is throughout all of this you just see all these numbers and all these abilities going about everywhere right and that's that's naturally overwhelming to a lot of people but once you get past that idea once you get once you kind of get past that that mental barrier you just kind of understand how it all works just by putting one piece together with another over time. Right, so this is to travel to the vaults. Anthony, thank you for the five dollars. By the time we're done with a crowd, I'm like, okay, what's next? And this dude's straight up already on the other side of the map. Guess we rolling. <laughs> Gotta go fast, dude. I got stuff to do. More monsters to kill. <laughs> Thanks for the five, dude. I appreciate it. What's all these individual things though? What, what is all this? I guess it's just letting me right in. All right. Tomb Lord. In one single combo, he's half dead already. seen a succubus yet succubi are in the game i just haven't seen a succubus succubus 
boss as of yet. All right. Let's see. Now I'm going to go re-roll this chest that I got. Okay, thank you, the end. I appreciate the kind words, dude. My game is lagging. There we go. All right, this chest piece right here, that bone skill damage is a must. Let me go get some reroll action going on it. Such poor equipment. Hold on, we got Let some people me. wanting in the clan. There you go. Enchant item, this right here. Let me reroll the cold damage. I want dexterity. Roll it again. Roll it again. See how expensive that's getting? It just took this just took up so much of my money. Ultimate skill damage. I guess we'll take that for now. Damn, dude. We'll lose some intelligence, but the intelligence contributes to the skill damage as is. I assume 10% will be better than just a mere 32 intelligence. Oh, hold on. Wrong, wrong one. Okay, so 4465 to 5458. And with this in, 4581 to 5599. Yeah, so it's a it's a little better. Yeah, it's a little better. Worth it. And see, now my money game is gone. But luckily, getting money at this point in the game is relatively easy because items sell for so very much. Uh, let me go down here. What cost 864k? Rerolling it up. Rerolling a stat. Alright, so this one this one sells for 38,000, almost 39,000. This one sells for 39,000. Nice. That's 11,900. That's 33,300. So if you get like a full inventory, you can just sell all that stuff for a lot of money really fast. Just run any dungeon, gather up all the items you find, and just sell them en masse. Easy. It's so easy to get money in this game. Okay. All right. I think today was a good day. We got a couple levels, and we got a couple of upgrades on our gear. Nothing major, I'd say, but... Some stuff that will overall help us in the long run. My next big goal is to get another 10 dexterity points in this so I can get that extra 10%. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this right here. I need another 21 dexterity total in order to get that. But also I need 10 more dexterity on this to get the extra vulnerable damage in this, which will be pretty easy to get. We got one, one there, one there, one there, one there. I think what I want to do from here is maybe start building up this way so I can make it my way diagonally up to the legendary node. And then we can go back that way. This is dexterity. Oh, no, those are those are intelligence. What am I talking about? But I still still there's another dexterity there and that one there. So we can just go right here, hit this, go across this way, put one there, and then up diagonally. Diagonally. And yeah. But all right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I'll be back on, uh, you know, I think I'm going to take a couple days off, guys. I've been streaming every day. I've been streaming every day for like a week, over a week now. 
So I'm going to take a day or two off just to kind of lay low, hang out. Um, I have a pulled muscle in my back, so I think sitting, like getting out of this chair for a couple days will do me some good. Or at least, you know, for the longer hours. But I will be back on the 11th because the 11th is the xbox showcase i want to watch that together with you folks so i will schedule a stream for that and then after that we'll be able to play some games together and i am also going to put out a video tomorrow for on the demo for lies of p i'm going to play the demo tonight later on and get that going so I expect a video tomorrow okay i'll join you when you want to hit tier four in your second run <laughs> anthony all right sounds good dude Wild chances. I bought a Nintendo Switch, got Zelda and Mario Kart when D4 came out. I haven't played it. Kind of feel like I wasted money, but maybe I'll get back to it. Yeah, the way I see it, Wild Chance is um, those will always be there. You know, you can always you can always play them whenever, right? They'll always be there. I'll make a video on my build. Perhaps I'll make a video on my build when it's complete. It's not actually finished yet. It's effective in its current state where I am. But it's not able to handle tier 4 stuff as of yet, which is the big stuff. So if I can get to that point and I can make my build comfortable and cozy, then yes, I'll make a, I'll make a video then. But alright guys, thank you so much for chilling today. I hope you enjoyed watching the uh, Summer Game Fest with me and as well as hope you enjoyed the Diablo gameplay tonight. Thank you for hanging out. I love you all. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video and after that a couple days for the next stream. Alright? Until then, be excellent to each other. Much love, folks. I'll see you soon.